Welcome back to Adventures with PC Wobash and this adventure is getting started. Got a call from the brakes. We have drove, mm, I don't know, two and a half hours from the house. Got my little generator in the truck, but we just got a call while we was eating that they can't open the campground because no water no sewer the electric's out at the campground but i kind of had a sneaking suspicion something like that was going to happen so i ain't mad but they did get hammered pretty hard that you've seen on the news and this is virginia up in the mountains and they are putting up all the lines people at the lodge because the lodge has power so they got a bunch of linemen staying at the lodge that are helping restore the area's power. So anyways, so they said they can't have us come up there. So we called Clater Lake, which we're supposed to stay at next week. And they can put us up third, uh, Wednesday night, Thursday night. Nothing for Friday because the weekend's hitting and everybody's coming in the camp. So, we get, we're going to stay there for two days. We're going to keep our reservation at the breaks. And they say maybe they'll have to power the campground come Friday. So it might, everything might turn out okay. But if not, I guess we had to get a, a refund from the breaks and try it again. This is our third year, second year trying to get to the breaks. They ain't made it yet. <laughs> but anyways. We're at a Harvest Host because we we did the membership thing. This is our second Harvest Host we've been at. This is called Stonebridge Equestrian Center and we're in Lexington, Virginia near Natural Bridge. So let me turn you all around and look at that. We got clouds in the air, little breaks of blue. All this is finally getting out of here for the next four or five days. We're supposed to have some good weather. But look at this place. Is it not beautiful? They got a 50 amp service, so we're hooked up. Camper's hooked up. So the battery's staying charged. We filled up our water tank about two thirds. Because that's what the man requested to do fill up the water tank. So we did that. Guy's nice. He took all his horses out because they've been penned up, I guess, since the storm. So they're all out in the field now. So let's turn around and look at that. This is. Stonebridge Equestrian Center, there's Sandy, and Atlas, in Natural Bridge or Lexington, whatever you want to call it, right off of 81, easy to get to. We went to a little country store. Uh, what is the name of that store? I forget now. Well, while she's looking that up, we did go to the Pink Cadillac and had supper, and that food was very good. She's like, it's just not pretty or what? Got horses all over there. And then that's the other side of 81, right there. We have another camper came into the Harvest Host while we was out eating. She took a picture, but it's just beautiful. Right here in the mountains, right off of 81. Now that's a heck of a view from your to wake up to in the morning. Horses in the field looking over this pasture at those mountains. Not bad, not bad. It just gave a donation for the electric and the water. So it's all good. You got the name yet? No, my phone's dead. We'll update you in a minute. Yeah, we'll figure it out. But they had flavored moonshines, which were pretty all right. Then candies, oh, and salt hams, real salt hams, not that fake stuff you buy at the supermarket. This is sitting on a shelf salt ham. Well, I'm back. The name of the store is Lane's Country Store. It's if you leave this Harvest Hope and turn to the left, it's a mile or so down the road. Definitely worth the stop if you're in this area. Alright, later. Well, 
our secondary plan came through we're at Clater Lake today's Wednesday Thursday maybe Friday we'll be headed for the break if not then we got to figure out something else to do I'm at the water's edge meeting facility and gift shop at the edge of Clater Lake we got Roanoke Hazmat up here doing control burns of I guess uh, flammable liquids that were probably in the lake during the storm so up there burning it off we're going to walk around to the backside maybe and check out what the lake looks like from what we've seen it's pretty messed up all right we're down on the lake front this is the marina we got law enforcement and coast guard and people cleaning up but if you i don't know how good this camera picks up but all the way across there nothing but debris all in these coves, pretty debris packed. This is doing my mess here at Clear Lake. We got other people out cutting the grass. But yeah, there's big debris fields like this everywhere, and some of it packed up. So. So the, oh, and my foot. Lake is off limits. No swimming, no fishing, no nothing. While all this cleanup's going on, so we come back maybe a year from now, next summer, hopefully, be ready to go again. But this was a heck of a storm. Looking back to Venture PC Wabash, and we are going to down on the Shady Ridge Trail, and then Lakeview Trail and get some current conditions of what the lake looks like. It's Thursday, we leave tomorrow, but we have every trail in this part done. Alice is getting ready, Sandy's getting ready. I gotta get the walking sticks out the truck and then we'll be on our way. So see you from Sandy Ridge Trail, later. This is Map of Player Lake. We're over here at the visitor center, walking down behind the building here on this path. We're gonna get more close up look what the lake looks like right now after Hurricane Helen came through, or Helena, Hell on Wheels, whatever. That was a bad, big, bad storm. But we're going down here to check it out, the water's edge. Alright, I'm back closer to the water's edge and as you can see, it's a mess. The water's back within the banks, but it obviously came up quite high. This is a, a fishing, a little fishing pier that you could, you know, fish from, but you can't fish right now because it's all wood for about 50 yards out. Then you got private homes over here in the distance. I guess they got going to have to clean up clean up that mess themselves that's gonna be a headache all right well, we're in back of the visitor center I'm gonna walk over to the gazebo got private boats and they're just a mess those boats a mess hopefully the motors are still good but look at the edge of the river here or edge of the Clater lake we we'll walk along the edge of it it's just a mess. Lawn chairs where it just floated up and flooded the banks and took whatever back with it. It's a nice chair. Sandy and Atlas are getting on each other's nerves. He's wound up. He ain't been camping for a month. He says, I gotta get wound up. Tangle mommy up. <laughs> But you can see you got inner tubes out here. Boats maybe partially sunk. That's a floating, what used to be a pontoon boat, but it's a dock. It is just a mess. And that's this little spot, but I can see it. Stuff way out there in the middle. I mean, it's, it is debris from one side of this lake 
to the other. And it looks like the other side has actually got more debris packed across it than this side does because you can actually see a whole line right underneath that mountain. That side really packed. This side is bad, but that side is messed up. Yeah, Clear Lake's just a mess right now. All thanks to that hurricane. But at least people's houses are still standing here and they got electric, not like North Carolina. Alright, we're going to go inside. Alright, welcome back to Adventures PC Warbash. It is Thursday morning. It is 9 o'clock. We're getting ready to go on a pretty long little hike around the park. Take the camera with you down the trail. Atlas inside. Sand is next door, and we'll come at you from the trail. Going to take old boy Atlas on a long walk. He likes to go walking. Tires him out for the rest of the day. All right, catch y'all somewhere down the trail. Well, there's it. Welcome back to Vincent's of PC Wabash, and we are getting ready to get a hike on. We're going down here to the campsite area and there's a little spur trail that takes us to Bent Creek Trail. We're going to hike that and it's 1.1 miles so by the time we do the loop and come back up the spur and walk back to camp maybe a mile and a half. But we're getting ready to get a walk on so see you down the road here. Alright, we are at the beginning of the Bent Tree Trail Loop, 1.9 miles, comes right back to this same spot. Then we walk back up the access trail here to the orange, a little orange loop, or a little orange spur. Then the campground is right back up there. We're going walking. And we're walking down Bent Creek Trail. It's nice and wide well maintained little grass right here and walking around very nice very nice trail okay we did the one mile bent loop trail now we've got on the orange trail which is called the poplar leaf trail then we're going down here and actually intersect the clater lake trail which runs the whole park but then we're going to intercept another trail. Then we'll get back on the Poplar Leaf Trail. And get back to Campground. So I don't know how many miles it's going to be because we're joining all these trails like halfway through them. Huh. we got a Boy Scout shelter or something somebody built right there. Right there, a little A-frame shelter. Pretty cool. But the lake, you can see it through the trees. So we'll be intercepting that trail. So catch y'all in a bit. Alright folks, we are at our next trail intersection. Clater Lake Trail is where we're at. But Atlas has been around the block here this morning. So... He has got to get his water. He's at the bench. Back up a little bit. Because he ain't in the camera. This is his favorite thing. He see a bench on a trail. He automatically pulls up. He's thirsty too. He ain't had no drink this morning. He had a dirty chin. That's all that was. He said, man... Cool, cool water. Right? Yep. Let oh, no. me see. Check out Sandy's watch. She got the steps. Uh, 6,000 steps. Don't know if that equates in miles yet. 6,000. Climbed 11 stairs, burned 1,000 calories, so I'm doing well. So there you go. That's the, that's the fit, Fitbit update, I guess, is what that is. Yeah. All right. We have made it to the end of, well, not the end of it, but. 
we made it to our part of the Claytor Lake Trail. Now, we are intersecting the Lakeview Trail on the way back to camp. I'm going to let Sandy give Atlas. <laughs> Atlas here. Give me water. <laughs> it was a lot of, a lot of uh, pretty easy trail, a lot of little hills. So, uh, 23 stairs, um, stair staircases, the yeah. equivalent of here. so far. Here, get your face in. And 8,000 steps. Here, you can drink of water. He says, no, I'm on the stick. The stick's more important right now. Yeah. How many steps we at? 8,100. We'll see how much mileage we have when we get back. You don't know how much you miss walking until you're laid up for a year from having a bum knee. Mm. So, this is fun. Yeah. I'm tired, I'm sweaty, but I'm having fun. <laughs> but, I downloaded the State Park Avenza app. And that thing has been right on point. We are... The blue dot right here and right here is where we're at the intersection of the blue and the yellow trail which is right there hey, and it's a handicap trail because it's all paved so this is a handicap fully accessible trail we're walking the lakeview trail right along clay lake obviously or it wouldn't be called lakeview trail coming up on one of the coves is a little bit different angle from yesterday, looks like the water came up pretty daggone high from looking around. But look at that mess right there. Don't even get any open water till you get past the tree. And everything beyond that is out in the lake floating around. Just crazy. I'm back. We're walking back to the camp of Loop D. But this right here is a fire pit that the rangers use and most of their interpretive programs start at this fire pit in case you're wondering can't ground deep there he's got his star mark on he's got what? collar on oh. welcome back to events pc wabash and we are going to go and do our morning hike and finish out all the trails in clater lake state park today we're going to look at the events map here and the trail we'll be taking is the Sandy Ridge Trail and intercept the Lakeview Trail so we can get some current pictures of what the lake conditions look like here at Clater Lake. And then that'll be all the trails in the whole park. And we done knocked the whole entire park out. It took us four days of hiking, I guess. We did a little bit each day, so that's cool. So. Next time you see us, we'll be on the Shady Ridge Trail with Atlas, taking care of business. All right, later. All right, we are back on the trail. Hidden Valley Trail is to my left. We went there yesterday. So we're going to finish out the park today by going down the Shady Ridge Trail to the picnic area and then Lakeview Trail and we'll see what the lake looks like. So, Sandy Ridge Trail, right there. Alright, we're getting ready to intercept Lakeview Trail, but Sandy's up there. I put Atlas on the pole here, so he's waiting. The lake itself is not a muddy wreck, but as you can see, it's still covered with debris. That big island of debris that runs right down the center of the lake. And then right along where this fellow's walking on the pier down here. It's just stacked up so you can't even get there to fish on the pier. So the lake itself is still full of junk. But it has cleared up. I mean if you look through them trees you can see more debris everywhere. So, the lake is still a mess. It's not as muddy as it was, but it's still full of debris. Right there is a broke off boat dock right there in front of us. So, we're going to continue on down Lake View Trail until we get back to camp later.
we're at the swimming area at Clear Lake. It's closed for the season, but we got a little pass through over here. So we're gonna walk through and look on the back side, see what's up. Haven't been here before. The bathroom complex, some picnic area back up in there. Oh, it does have a beach. A whole beach there. Come on, Atlas. Come on. All right, we're down at the beach complex area. Got a nice sandy beach, some lifeguard, a couple of two, three lifeguard towers, a roped off perimeter out there. But as you can see, the beach area is a wreck also. I mean, big trees and the dock and just stuff all over the place. You got a, looks like a collection crew out there picking up debris, tooling along. No pets are allowed on the beach, so that's why we're up here. But this is the complex. I imagine by next season it'll be cleaned up nice enough to use again. Alright, well, and looks like a small boat area launches over there. I see boats over there. So now we're going to go back and get on the Lakeview Trail again. Well, that concludes all the trails at Clayton Lake State Park. We've did the whole perimeter of the park and central trails, and now we just came up the hill from down near the beach where we was last at, and this is Campground D. You come up the hill, and we just walk straight down this first road, and it'll take us right to our campsite. Sandy's knees are good, so... That's a lot of miles we put on them in this 11 days. And yeah. they, they pass the test. Let so. me look real quick. See how many miles we did this morning. Uh, almost 5,000 steps. Let's see. Almost 5,000 steps. Oh, 2.6 miles. Wow. 2.06 miles. That was actually longer than I thought. 2.06 miles. Yes. Pretty good. Not bad. Alice just drank his water. He's ready to go take his nap now. He does trail hike and then he'll be out the rest of the day. <laughs> All right. We got one more fire to go and then we pack up and leave in the morning. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to start packing later on at night. But tomorrow's our exit day. Yeah. We'll get out early about 10 o'clock. That way whoever has our spot gets to come in at 11 if they want to instead of waiting till 4, four I think, right? Yeah. As long as it's unoccupied, they'll let you in. So they'll get an extra six plus hours of camping. I, right. can, I can see why people do this a couple of months at a time because I've enjoyed this 11 days. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sitting here yeah. floating around and I got two more days till Monday rolls around. I'm mauling another state park visit along the way later. <laughs>